This video is sponsored by Dragon Champions. This is Dragon Champions, a mobile turn-based RPG with visuals inspired by games like Warcraft. In it, you'll create and build a team of heroes and battle your way through the story campaign, arenas, raids, challenges, etc. Now, I've played a few of these kinds of games over the years, and I kind of like to call them hero builders. And I'm kind of ashamed to say I get addicted to them pretty quickly. Dragon Champions is no exception. As before I accepted this sponsorship, I downloaded the game to try it out first, as I do with all sponsorships, and ended up hitting level 20 before I even accepted and started recording. I don't have a problem, YOU HAVE A PROBLEM! In Dragon Champions, you'll start off with only a few heroes and begin working your way through one of the three story campaigns, each of which are full of fantasy easter eggs and a hefty dose of humor. Frankly, it's probably funnier than me. It's not hard, though. <laughs> As you complete missions, you'll unlock gear, money, and items to help make your heroes stronger and stronger, which allows you to take on harder and harder battles, which gives you better equipment to make your character stronger to take on harder battles, it just kinda keeps going. Money and experience scrolls are used to level up your characters, giving them higher stats, health, attack, etc. You know the drill here, you've played an RPG before, I'm assuming. I don't know why you'd be here otherwise. Why are you here? Gear can be equipped in one of these six slots available for each character, and once each slot is filled, you can upgrade to the next equipment level, which unlocks new skills for your character and further increases their stats. If you find you're missing a particular piece of gear, you can find what missions they drop from and simply run those missions. If you've managed to complete that mission before with three stars, you can simply use Auto Battle, meaning you don't have to go through all this. You can just get the rewards at the cost of some Auto Battle tickets. Throughout the campaigns, every so often you'll hit a mission that gives you character tokens. Collect enough of these and you can unlock a new hero to use. Currently, there are over 50 different champions in the game, each with their own skills and abilities. Hive Pro Tip Find characters that work well together and complement each other. You'll typically want a defender, possibly two, a few attackers, a mage maybe, and at least one healer. Or ALL HEALERS! Actually, that's a terrible idea, don't, don't do that. Once you have a character unlocked, any tokens you receive for that character are used to rank them up. From one star to however many stars that is, I am too lazy to count right now. Hive Pro Tip number two. This is what really powers up your characters, so you'll want to try and collect as many of these as you can per day. It's also best to level up multiple characters rather than just sink all your points into one. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a pretty lopsided team. I see you're all decked out, but uh, that's your teammate. And um, this is my team. Get him. It's a lot like that. You'll also want to gear up multiple teams and multiples of each type of character. For example, I have a good team going here, made up of some elves, humans, and orcs, but some story campaigns only allow certain factions of characters to take part, such as humans or orcs or whatever. And a lot of my orcs are not leveled up, so they're useless. And then some challenges only allow certain types of characters, like having teams made up of all healers, all tanks, all attackers, and my second tank isn't leveled up at all, and neither is my second healer. So high pro tip number four, or three, or whatever this is, level up everything. Don't be me. I don't take my own advice, I'm too stubborn, but you should. Speaking of challenges, these are harder battles that give more specialized rewards. These challenges rotate out on a daily basis, and then all of them open up on Sundays. So another Hive Pro Tip number... I lost count. Prepare for Sundays. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Forget all family time. Forget the outdoors, food, personal hygiene. Dad, what's that smell? That's called commitment, Kyle. It's called commitment. It smells like old cheese. Forget life in general. This is life now. This is who you are. Or play in healthy amounts, whatever noob. There are also several events going on in-game for you to take part in. Often, these are challenging battles to unlock rare materials, rare characters, extra gold. It varies. But there are new ones starting all the time. Oof. Okay, well that is a lot. But, uh... What? There's more? Son of a bitch! After you hit a certain level, I've forgotten which one. You can take part in PvP, where you battle other players' teams. Hive Pro Tip number... 20? I don't know. It's best to look at the three teams you're given an option to fight, compare your power levels, and then pick the one you can probably beat. Because winning will increase your overall PvP rank, which at the end of the day gives you a PvP currency, which you can use in the store to purchase materials or character tokens. Another Hive Pro Tip number... 
Pi. Go for the healers first, and save your AoE skills for whenever the enemy tanks put up taunts. Ah, it hurts just saying that. I'm so sorry, healers. I've betrayed you. And to make sure you're not completely antisocial, there's guilds. You can join up with one of the several guilds in the game, or create your own of course, for some companionship or more importantly, so you can take part in the guild quest and guild raids. Guild quests are usually as simple as spend energy or gold or something like that. Raids on the other hand are giant boss battles that will take just about everything you have. Unless you don't have high enough level characters. Or just barely high enough level characters. Don't worry man, you got this! Okay, well now she's high enough. Go get him, girl, you got this! Okay then. Alright, man number two, just stay alive long enough to get one hit! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on this! And now I'm dead. Well, that was a subpar effort. I'll give myself a D, maybe a D minus. The more you take part in these events, the more guild currency you'll get at the end of the day, which you can use to buy materials and character tokens. You see a pattern here? Another pro tip, number infinity. It's smart to take part in a bit of everything to get the most out of your playtime. Very recently, I unlocked tournaments, which I didn't get to take part in because I didn't meet the requirements. Not sure what they entail, but there they are. And last but not least, our dailies. Yeah, I know, I know, but don't worry. In Dragon Champions, dailies are something you'll really accomplish in just standard play. If you try to unlock a few character tokens, go for some gear, do some PvP, a couple of events, some challenges, spend some in-game money in the store, not real-life money, mind you, then you'll easily complete your dailies in no time flat. And along the way, there are achievements, which will give you even more rewards for just doing what you're already doing. Leveling up and gearing up characters, completing the story campaigns, etc. There is such a thing in the game as energy, which is spent every time you do a mission. However, I can't say I've ever really run out unless I was actively trying to. Getting more energy is pretty easy, as a lot is given out through dailies, achievements, gaining levels, etc. But it also regens over time, and if you run out, you can also watch an ad every so often to give you more. It's never really been a problem for me. All in all, if you're looking for a game to spend some time with, consider Dragon Champions. And if you do decide to play, make sure to use my promo code HIVELEADER to receive 250,000 gold, 500 jacoin, 500 energy, 100 auto battle tickets, and you'll unlock the character of Kokorim. All of that is worth like $10. To redeem the code, simply tap on the gear icon in the top right hand corner, tap on the promo code button, type in the code HIVELEADER, and you'll receive your rewards. Also, the promo code only works if you're under level 15 and won't work if you've already entered any other promo codes. Keep that in mind. Wait, I didn't get that when I started playing. What the heck? I had to earn all that myself. Stupid sponsorships giving my viewers things better than I got. Hey, Hive. Oh, what is that smell? Uh, commitment? Yeah, well, it smells like a divorce. Take a shower. Aw, but I took one last year. No! Fine.